Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Jessica Yick, the Dancing Avon Lady, and today I am so thrilled to be doing a first impressions video on two of the new Face Shop products. So here I have today is the Collagen Ampule Lipstick from the Face Shop, as well as the Gold Collagen Marker Eyeliner, also from the Face Shop. I got these actually before the Christmas holidays, just haven't had time to really test them out or review them, so I figured what better time would it be than to do them now. We're gonna first start off with the Gold Collagen Liner. So this liner is apparently, it's really good for beginners, which that would be me, especially for uh, like liquid liners. And um, it is a deep black nourishing marker eyeliner that creates fine to bold lines. So I'm assuming that the way that the, the tip is shaped, you can probably either do it one way to have a full uh, thin line or the other way to have a bold line. I'm just speculating because I haven't opened up this thing yet. Or maybe, you know, just by like doing it over and over again. I don't know. Anywho, it's supposed to be a very intense marker. So you're gonna get a lot of nice intensity and very um, sharp lines. Is that the word I'm looking for? Sharp, maybe, possibly. What's really cool about this is that it's enriched with ultra nourishing gold. Wow, okay. Um, collagen, which I did a little bit of reading on, and according to tci-bio.com, collagen will help with saggy skin, which is good around the eyes. This can help fight under eye wrinkles, but I'm gonna do it on my line, on my top line, so we're gonna see. Anyways, it's supposed to help with saggy skin, which will be great to prevent the saggy skin at the top there on my lids. The other thing that I found really interesting is that it's also infused with duckweed extract and panthenol. So duckweed extract, according to cosmetics-specialchem.com website, it is an anti-inflammatory agent and helps with detoxification. So it says externally it's been used to treat skin rashes, eczema, swelling, and insect bites. So but hopefully I won't get an insect bite on my eyelid anytime soon. But anyways, <clears throat> it is a Chinese herbal medication. Hmm. The, the main activity of the duckweed extract is that it's anti-inflammatory. So I've already done the base for my face. I have some mascara on as well as I did use the Cashmere Complexion Long Wearing Foundation today as well as the com Cashmere Complexion uh, Concealer for my face. On my cheeks, I do have the VDL Creamy Stick Jelly in <laughs> Flowage, Flowage. <laughs> and so I did have that on, but my lips and my liners is naked. On my eyes, I did use the Glimmer Shadow from FMG in Citroen, which is a beautiful color that was gifted to me from Avon when I won a um incentive so yay for that love free stuff and this is a beautiful color it's like a really really nice just neutral color so anywho without further ado let's open this up you know it was a little bit misleading i guess when i was reading it i didn't really fully read the details of it and i actually thought it was gonna be a gold uh, colored eyeliner not gold infused liner but hey i'll take it i will take it here it is and ooh, okay it looks like a sharpie and as always, they have the expiration date right on here, which is always nice. And they say before you use it, some tips is that as you store it, you do want to keep it flat like this, um, not like this. You want to keep it horizontal to the ground. So the tip needs to stay horizontal to the ground. So it's like a fine tip marker, if you will. And then the other thing is you want to shake it a few times before using it. Oh, there's a ball in there. Cool. I did way more than two to three times, but anyways, I shook it. Um, and the other thing that I always love about this is that they're going to show you here after you open it, the X you should toss it after about six months' time, which is nice. All right, so let's open this thing up. Ooh. Okay. So it is a fine tip. So I guess that you can get like a a deeper line or a thicker line if you go over it a few times. And so let's just do a quick little swatch here first. Whoa, that is intense. Wow super intense look at that oh wow okay now i'm scared i'm actually a little bit nervous oh dear me try it oh it dried really fast that was like what 15 seconds or less but it dried super duper fast and it's not smudging so it didn't say that it is um waterproof but i got a little wet tissue and i want to see whether or not it will come off if i drop some water on it so it's not running, but where I dropped it directly, it will, it does come off a little bit. Smudge it. Oh yeah. So it comes off with water. So it's not a waterproof formula, which is okay as long as you know, 
right? Okay, now that looks like so messed up on my hand. Okay, so guys, just know that it's not a waterproof formula, but when it went on, holy wow, it was intense. I am a little bit nervous because I'm not very good with liquid lighter. Now, I'm not gonna venture off doing the cat eye because I'm not good at that at all, but I'm gonna do a slight little wing. It's very liquidy. It is very, very, very liquidy. I'm used to using like gel liners and pomade. That's, it's, I love how intense it is though. It is very, it's really, really, really intense. And it already feels dry. Let's show the other side. This is the scary side. Ah! I went up a little bit. That's okay. Whoa. Okay. Wow. All right. So I think I need definitely need a lot more practice with it because you can see how stuttery I am because I'm really nervous. But I love how intense it is. Like this side's a lot better. This is definitely my worst side or my not as comfortable side. So start, you want to click it on and you want to lay it down. Another tip that I've learned before is if you're worried about how to do your lines, and I need to do this in practice too, guys, but I heard about this tip and I need to do it, um, but you can always line it first with a pencil liner so you do have an idea of where you want it to go before you go in with the actual, with the actual um, liquid liner. I love how intense it is though, guys. The intensity of it is beautiful. And from far away, you can't really tell. <laughs> I'll just stay this far. Intensity wise, a 10 out of 10. Usability because of my lack of skill, probably like a 6 or a 7. Um, it is very, very wet. It's a lot wetter than what I'm used to, which is fine. I just need to practice with it. So if you like a really wet liquid liner, this is for you. I think it comes in two colors, black and maybe like a black brown. I will verify that up here for you guys, but the color that I got was black. There are two different links on the website, but I don't quite remember what the other one was. So that's that. Now the next one I'm going to try is going to be the stunning Collagen Ampule Lipstick. This one, it is an anti-aging lipstick for moist, fuller lips. And it is a full coverage lipstick with rich color and brightens your lips instantly. It's supposed to be long wearing that lasts for hours while the color stays true. Awesome. It's anti-aging skincare formula with wrinkle care ingredients Oh, to make your lips look and feel healthier and fuller. So the directions that they suggest is to start off in the center of the lip and then blend outwards as opposed to going like that. Um, and then well, I always work on my Cupid's bow first anyways. The color that I have here is called Full pink. It does come in nine different shades, ranging almost from like an orangey color to a beautiful red. But the one I got was full pink because, I mean, when can a girl not use another lipstick, right? I love lipstick. Okay, so some of the ingredients in here are macadamia seed oil, rosa damasca flower extract. So here are my lips. Okay, the more I'm looking at the liner, I really like it because it's a very bold, classic look. I just need to work on my skills a little bit. <gasps> Whoa! Look at this! Wow! It is, like, gorgeous! Holy, wow, it is beautiful. Look at that packaging, guys. It is, like, a metallic all around shine o -meter. Yes, mama. Can you even... You, <laughs> you can almost use this as a uh, mirror here. Like, hmm? So if you don't have a mirror on you, which we always do because we have a phone, use this. All right, the cool thing I just noticed with this, it's magnetic. Look at this. Ha! So you don't ever have to worry about it popping off in your bag, which is always good. <gasps> wow, okay. The inside of it, fancy schmancy. Here it is, my friends. Whoa. It's a very square tip. It's a very interesting tip. Look at that color. Wow. Oh. Oh, it has a little bit of fragrance. It's kind of like very lightly perfumey, almost a little rosy. All right, but let's do a quick swatch of this on my wrist. The color actually looks a little brighter than I thought it would be. All right, I feel like it's gonna be a buildable coverage too. So it looks like it's a bit of a, not a pure matte finish, has a little bit of shine to it. So like a demi satin, I don't know, but it's pretty, it is very pretty. It's very creamy too. All right, let's see if how this works on my face. It's very, th it's a very thick lipstick. Okay, uh, I'm trying to get used to this, this tip. This tip is a little weird for me. Okay, there you go. 
once it warmed up a little bit more, it is more satiny. Look how bright that is, guys. Ooh, la la. Hello. Hello, hello. All right. It's very pigmented, very bright, very fresh. It's quite creamy. Not as creamy as some other lipsticks that I've tried from Avon um, and the Face Shop, but it is quite creamy. I like it a lot more now that it's warmed up on my lips. And it feels a little more blendable. At first, I was like, oh, ooh, ooh, but it just needed to warm up a little bit. But it is a beautiful color. So what I'm going to do, because I want to see how long lasting this is, I'm going to go run into a couple of meetings and probably have some probably have some coffee, to be honest with you, during it. And we'll be back in a bit. So stay tuned. Hey, guys. Okay, it is about four and a half, almost five hours later. I have since had like two meetings, two cups of coffee, and also lunch half an apple and a banana <laughs> and look at the lipstick staying on pretty well it's lasting really long and i haven't even had to put on lip balm yet so i am overall impressed it still feels really nice and soft i probably will put on some lip balm because i um it's force of habit honestly but like it stayed on really really well it's not transfer free by all means i mean if you look at my coffee cup You'll see that it's kind of gross coffee cup, but you'll see that it did come off. But a lot of the pigment did stay on my lips, which is really nice. So it's really handy, especially for like last minute, sudden uh, conference meetings and stuff like that. So yay for that. So that's it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you do let me know by giving me a big fat thumbs up. It helps me out a lot. And if you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button as well as that little bell icon beside it. So you never miss a video notification. I seem to be sending out videos every Mondays and Fridays right now. So fingers crossed, I can hope to keep up that schedule if you're interested in becoming a beauty boss and joining avon go to the link in the description box below click and then go over to join avon and you can get started with your avon business selling coast to coast anywhere across canada with just a few minutes i love you guys i'll see you in the next one bye